The Duke was shaking the snowflakes off the crown prince's wife's dress. Suddenly, his hand moved unconsciously to Ekaterina's face and caressed her tenderly. The atmosphere between the two of them became subtle. Oh my God. Ekaterina's words were like an amnesty for love. The two of them moved quickly to the speeding carriage. Outside, it was freezing cold. Inside, it was a warm bed of love. Saltiko just grabbed her palm, and Ekaterina closed her eyes in love. Soon after arriving at the hotel on the outskirts of the city, the two of them eagerly got into their room and started to have a delightful time together. Of course, Empress Elizabeth's spy was watching. The news of their night together and their lovemaking soon reached the Empress ears. Elizabeth was so happy to hear the news that she began to calculate Ekaterina's due date. If all went well, she would have a new heir to the throne in nine months. Until then, she had to get rid of any trouble Peter, that idiot, might cause. So she ordered Peter to stay in Ekaterina's room for the next few days. Empress Elizabeth said that if Peter disobeyed, he would be imprisoned and kept company with Ivan the 